Hey guys, isn't this amazing? Look what I have behind me. Do you know what that is? <laughs> it's the Great Pyramid of Giza, that's right. Guys, I'm reporting to you from Cairo. I'm here at the Giza Pyramid. And isn't this amazing? Isn't God good? So guys, uh, I'm going to have a bunch of um, things I'm going to be sharing from Cairo. Uh, prophetic things, significant things, lots of things to show you guys. But uh, in this, I want to do a quick video. I want to show you the Giza Pyramid. And I want to remind you the reason uh, God has led me to this place to be at the foot of this um, the Giza Pyramid. It is not built by Nephilim, okay? <laughs> Whoever built it, there is speculation on who built this. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description field of many of the astounding descriptions of this pyramid. But the thing I want to remind you in this message is to please watch the creation timeline. In the creation timeline, with confirmation of this pyramid, of the Giza pyramid, we know the precise time from Adam to now. It is 6,107 excuse me, seven, seven years, okay? I'll put a link in the description field. There is score lines. There are things drawn in the temple that measure time within the uh, tunnels to the king's chamber, the queen's chamber, ascending, descending passages. Within those, there are score lines that mark time. They show Abraham's birth, the exodus, when the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. And, sorry for the noise, uh, here's another bus going by. It's very busy here. Okay. Oh, that one's not as loud. Okay. But there are significant prophetic dates that we've shown and proven through the scriptures and through the Giza pyramid through two witnesses. Um, the other thing I want to say about this pyramid is called Isaiah 19, 18 and 19. The altar, the memorial for the Lord is the Giza pyramid. Uh, wind is picking up, so it might be making noise. I apologize. Just want to do a quick video. Please watch creation timeline. Within that, we have the precise year. And guys, we're going to report more amazing, amazing things from Cairo, from Egypt. Uh, please pray for me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the Exodus. <laughs> I'm going to do the Exodus. The children of Israel were in Goshen. Goshen is the Nile Delta. I'm going to Alexandria to Sinai, taking a boat to Aqaba, glory to his name. So thank you for watching. Please watch Creation Timeline, okay? That's why I'm showing you all this, to God's glory. Thanks for watching, and to God be the glory, amen. Okay guys, here we are at the entrance of the Great Pyramid, and you can see this is uh, the, uh, the entrance up here. Um, there's uh, the story goes that over here, um, I believe I hope I'm pointing this out right. That's where Al Mamoud um, bore into the Great Pyramid around I don't know 700 A.D. But uh, the thing I wanted to point out, guys, here in this view is we're getting a little bit sun on this side with the entrance. But the point is, is see that you see these uh, these stones here? The whole pyramid was covered with these stones. They're called casing stones. And they are limestone, and the um, they basically were removed for the pyramid to build moss and stuff in, in and around Cairo. But the reason I'm pointing this out is that there's 144,000 of these casing stones on the Great Pyramid. Let me say that again: there were 144,000 casing stones. Okay, there's many prophetic things, guys, about this pyramid. Uh, many, many things, many amazing things. Um, I'm going to probably do a few more short video clips to uh, uh, describe some of them. But um, but anyway, isn't this amazing? To God be all the glory. So what, what you have is that's the Great Pyramid, and here's Cairo, a sprawling city. <laughs> 25 million people. Oh, my goodness. So, guys, here we are in Cairo. And we're going to talk some more about um, some statistics and things about the Great Pyramid I'm going to share with you. Um, also some uh, photos. Okay.